this is the special lace making that I've always admired from Belgium. And here you are, we see it again. Tell us about this. So the Chesapeake Region, Region Lace Guild has worked with the Belgium Embassy to show lace a lot. Let me show you a couple pieces here of First, what do you call this? So when you do lace, there's only two stitches. Let me show you how they're done. So you only use four at a time, and you take one over and across, two over and a twist, one over and across, and tighten it up. So you can do it slowly, or you can do it fast. There's a thread out of the way. <laughs> So when we see a tablecloth and the pillowcases, how long does it take? Um, to do an intricate piece of lace takes about an inch an hour. And, and so that's why it's so valuable. At that's one why time, it's expensive too. Yes, handmade lace at one point was more valuable than gold. And how much do the thread, you call it a thread? They call Most of the thread that we use is cotton today, but in the old days it was all linen from Belgium. Is, uh, is there a similar lace. Is there a similar art that exists in Europe aside from Belgium? Do they do it also yes. in Germany? Germany and France, all of the European countries do, and in Japan uh, as well. So and we, how does Australia, it differ? How does it differ? Well, from what? lace is so interesting because each group. Uh, each community kind of figured out their own unique pattern to be able to sell it as a unique item. And so consequently, every little town has its own method of doing lace and its own design. So if you look at this book, yes. you, you can see that you know different cultures do different kinds of lace in order to, to be able to market it and sell it. Um, this is called a tape lace because there's a tape that runs continuously through the whole piece. Here's a different design. And some of the designs are colored and some of the laces, um, look at these beautiful um, Russian butterflies. And she straightened out the pattern. But for those who do it, they must have had many years of experience before they can no, do this. No, no. You can do an awful lot in a very short period of time. That is yes. amazing. Yes. Really? They just need patience. So you start with a pattern, and the pattern is called the pricking. And you can see that this one's been used because of all the holes that are in the back. And so that pattern then tells you where to put the pins to end up to make that piece of lace. And people can also bring a pattern. You can they design. Would, they the, want to custom yes. made it for their, their homes or their... Um, and there's computer software now yeah, that, correct. that helps people do designs. With the lace making, is there a use of technology here? Nothing. Everything yeah. is handiwork, right? Well, it's we really by it hand. by hand. But the patterns now are done on computers. So yes, oh. technology is helped. But there's yeah. no way you can create a big tablecloth without manual uh, labor, right? Without the hands. Right. Right. Nothing by machine and, and or... most of the big pieces that you see in museums were done um, by various individuals so and then put together because no one had space enough for a big piece unless they were at school, in a school and had that facility. So it was piecework that meant a lot of extra money for the family to be able to do this part of a big piece and then uh, be able to sell your part but it was monitored very carefully to maintain the quality. How do you create interest in the young people? I think that there's the whole generation now that are looking to do stuff with their hands and uh, this is a great thing to be able to do 
there's only two stitches and you either cross or, or twist That's the threads. Right. And we have a, a lot of young people that are very interested. And do you give free instruction about lace making? Yes. Oh. Um, our, our Chesapeake Region Lace Guild does offer free um, instruction and we have study groups in uh, Virginia and Maryland, um, in, in Delaware. So there's the United States has over 3,000 people that are making lace. So we're all trying to work together to not have this heritage art lost. And I'm sure it will be easy because you make it sound so easy. It is easy <laughs> and it's great fun. Why did you give a greeting for Christmas and the holiday season in French? In French? We have the Belgium, right? Yes, although they also speak Dutch. Okay, Part so will you speak Dutch and French? I don't. <laughs> I can't. Okay. I don't so have Just that. a special <laughs> message then. Yes. Well, I just hope that people can enjoy handmade items for the holidays. Having something that is given to you as, that somebody has taken the time to design and make means a lot more than something bought on, on, in the store. So handmade items are a very special gift. Thank you.